you're often co-investing with both um, some other VC firms, often Union Square Ventures here in New York, and also some angel investors like BetaWorks or Roger, Roger Ehrenberg's uh, IA Capital Partners. Right. How does that work when you're all co-investing together? Well, I mean, we genuinely like each other, and you know, we've been working together for a number of years. I've known the Union Square. I knew Fred personally before we started Spark. Um, I've gotten to know John Borthwick and Roger as a result after you know Spark was started. Um, we're very fond of each other. We work really well together. You know, there's this very, you know, interesting dynamic on these on these in these startups where you know founders have to choose each other carefully and employees, but you know co-investors have to work very well together. I mean, you know, you're imagine you're in these early stage company, you know, you're trying to figure things out. And imagine if the VCs don't get along. I mean, it, it's, it's, and I've seen it before in, in a past life, and it's, it's just awful. And unlike employees that don't work out, you can't fire your VC. You can't say, you know, I don't like that co-investor, or I don't like that board member. So, you know, when something works and you like these people, you tend to try to do it again and again. So why do you like working with Union Square Ventures, for example? You know, I mean, you know, we work with other firms too. I mean, but you know, the Union Square guys are fantastic. You know, Fred, Brad, and Albert, as well as Andrew and Eric over there. We just get along great. They work very hard uh, for their portfolio companies, which represents a big chunk of our portfolio too. I think it would help if we talked about a specific deal. Um, maybe let's say Tumblr. I know when I first spoke to Fred Wilson about Tumblr, he made a point of telling me that you were the one who had brought David Karp and Tumblr to him. So let's talk about how that deal started. Well, so David, I met um, a few years ago. He had a um, small consulting company in New York City called Davidville. And Davidville was consulting for a number of, of companies here in New York, big and small. And one of them was Next New Networks, which is a portfolio company of ours. And he was their tech, you know, their interim CTO and basically in charge of all web development. And so we got to know David. I got to know him personally. And they, at Davidville, he had built you know, maybe a half a dozen web applications. He built um, a product called Senduit. He had a, a few others. And he showed me Tumblr very early on. And he said, you know, I've, I've got all these great things going on. And at the time, you know, he showed it to me as just, uh, you know, somebody who would be interested in this stuff. Um, and then, you know, through that process, um, I, I told him, David, you got to stop this consulting. you got to go build a company on Tumblr. This is too great. And so David on his own came to the conclusion that he wanted to go for it. And um, he didn't need much money. You know, he was going to raise seven hundred thousand dollars, and you know, we have a big fund, so we could have arguably done the whole seven hundred. Uh, but our feeling was that you know, Union Square—they're here in New York. They understand this stuff really well. They get along. They got along with David, you know, in a, in a natural, fantastic way, um, and it just came together. And our feeling was, you know, we'd rather do half of the round, you know, put in a few hundred thousand dollars, split it with those guys, work really hard, and, and prove a lot, and then we'll have a chance to invest more, um, which is what we did. So last fall, um, you know, we invested another $2 million, and Union Square invested another $2 million, and, and we're very happy.